Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jose, but you can call me Juice, and I hope you guys are having a great motherfucking planty day. So today I'm going to be showing you guys all the plants that I only own one of. So these plants are all from different genuses. I thought I would go ahead and show you guys and give them the love that they deserve. Some of them you've definitely seen a lot, but other ones I feel like I haven't really talked about in a while. So if that sounds interesting, please make sure to stick around. Oh, and I thought I'd just let you guys know this past Monday was actually my birthday. So I wanted to play a little game with you guys. So right now, try to guess what age you think I am. Because honestly, I feel like people usually think I'm younger or older than I actually am. So go ahead, make your guess, and keep that guess in your head until the end of the video when I reveal my actual age. And you can let me know if you were right or wrong down in the comments. But yeah, I thought I would just give you guys something a little fun to do while you watch this video. And if you didn't already know, I'd be uploading plant content here every Wednesday and Saturday. So if you'd be looking for that, I got you. And you should definitely think about checking out my other videos. And if you already have, why not click that subscribe button? You're already here. Also, don't forget to leave me a like or a comment on this video because it really helped my channel out. And I'd also really appreciate it. But anyways, let's just get right into the plants. All right, so this first plant I'm about to show y'all kind of almost looks like nothing, but <laughs> here she is. It is my cute little ZZ plant. So if you didn't watch my neglected plants video, this actually used to be a much bigger plant, but as the title of that video suggests, I had been neglecting it. So I ended up just chopping back all of her ugly leaves so that she could hopefully bounce back and look much better. But yeah, not too much has happened. She's still alive, so that's a good sign. <laughs> but I did notice all the way down here in the soil, it looks like there is a new shoot that is starting to form. So I think she is gonna bounce back and be a beautiful plant once again. Obviously it's gonna take her some time to get there because ZZ plants are already typically slow growing, but the fact that she's giving me new growth right now is super exciting because this plant has not grown for me in probably like over a year or something. So now that I'm like actually taking care of her, she's being happy for me. Funny how that works, huh? <laughs> and hopefully the next time I show her, she'll have tons of new growth. But anyways, on to the next plant. Okay, so the next plant is definitely a lot cooler and it is my Thomatophyllum sprucianum. And y'all, I love this plant so much. Just look at these leaves. They are so beautiful. And this plant is just so unique and grows like nothing else in my collection. It likes to put out these small little leaflets is what I think they're called. So basically one leaf turns into just a bunch of leaves. So yeah, as this plant matures, the more leaflets she gets. Honestly, I've kind of been thinking about putting this plant in a self watering setup because I feel like I don't have the best watering schedule with this plant. Don't get me wrong, she'd be happy, but she kind of grows a little slow. So I feel like Maybe with consistently moist soil, she might be a little happier. So you guys might see me doing that in a video in the future. But yeah, right now she's just popping off in this cute little ceramic pot I think I got at Lowe's. I do really want to get more into the Thematophyllum genus because all the plants in this genus look really cool and I think they like all get huge or at least that's what it looks like and honestly they get grouped in with philodendron even though they're really not. I mean I don't care what other people want to call this plant but me specifically I'm just like very technical about everything so I'm like if it's not that plant it's not that plant, you know? I'm not gonna call it something it's not. <laughs> Even though this plant is a philodendron, when you cut it, it has a smell. Cause if you didn't already know, philodendron also have a smell when you like cut them or whatever. So I think it's really cool that Thomatophyllum also have a smell. Um, and I think it kind of smells like pumpkin vine in my opinion. But yeah, I just thought that was another cool little fact about this plant. But yeah, anyways, on to the next one. 
So now we're gonna be talking about my blue star fern. And honestly, I love this plant so much. I just think the leaves look so cool. And mine's still like a little baby compared to the mature size of this plant. Because if you didn't know, they can literally get huge. Um, so I'm hoping I can just have a really full pot of this someday. But so far, she's been doing really good in my collection. I got her not too long back in one of my plant shopping videos. She is just looking nice and lush. And as the name suggests, she does have like that silvery blue color, kind of like the philodendron silver sword. Y'all can't even see that, but <laughs> I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. I think I definitely want to get more into ferns because there are some really cool ones. And I just want to see what this genus has to offer because honestly, I feel like they're a little underrated since I feel like a lot of them are pretty common and easy to get. But there are some like really unique ones out there. But yeah, she's pretty easy care. Doesn't really ask for much for me besides water and so far she seems to be doing really good so hopefully she keeps up the good work so next up we're talking about my lovely aurelia balfouriana variegata and i've shown this plant a couple of times on my channel so she's definitely not sure on receiving love but i think i do want to get a couple more plants from this family but honestly a lot of her relatives are just like types of outside trees so I don't really know how much I can keep as a house plant, but I definitely have seen some other Aurelia out there. So maybe I'll get another one eventually, but I really love how this one looks. But I've had this plant ever since it was just a little baby and it has grown a ton. It is like a full on little tree now. So I'm just so proud of how far this plant has come. And I can't wait to watch how much more it's gonna grow because as I be saying, it's a tree, so these can get pretty big. So hopefully I can keep it happy long enough for it to get there someday. Regardless, she's still really beautiful. Honestly, she's kind of been growing a little slower lately, so I don't know if it's just like the change of the seasons or if she is working on her roots because she do be in a self-watering setup. But yeah, I don't really know what else to say about her besides that I love her, <laughs> so let's move on. All right, now we're gonna be talking about my cute little Phalaenopsis orchid. So I actually got this on clearance at Lowe's, so I think it was only like 10 bucks or something, maybe five bucks, but she's definitely so much happier now from when I first got her. It's not like she was in super bad condition when she came to me, but she's definitely super happy and super healthy. So this growth right here is her newest one, and I believe it is still um, growing. So it might get as big as her last leaf, which is this one right here. Unfortunately, she doesn't have any flowers at the moment, but hopefully I can get her to bloom again soon because the flower stalk is still alive. Um, so maybe I can get it to rebloom. Yeah, there's really not much to say about this plant because she just be chilling living life, vibing with the rest of the plants in my plant room. And I think this is a mini Phalaenopsis orchid, so I don't think it's gonna get that much bigger than it is now. It might get fuller, but like as far as the leaf size is, I don't think it's gonna get too much bigger, but I guess we'll see. <laughs> it might not be as exciting without the flowers, but I still think the leaves are really cute and I just love the growth pattern, so. But anyways, on to the next plant. All right, next up, we're talking about my Nepenthes, otherwise known as a pitcher plant. So if you didn't already know, these are carnivorous. So these just like to eat flies and other little bugs that it can trap in its little pitchers. This is her newest one right here. And I think it is just so cute. And I'm so proud of her for growing a pitcher for me because honestly, this plant has kind of been on and off for me lately. Um, and she really hasn't made pitchers for me in a while. So 
So now that I have her hung up on my wall over there, I'm hoping that will help her produce more pictures. The last time I gave her more humidity and that seemed to do the trick, but she doesn't fit in my mini greenhouse anymore. So I kind of have to have her out here in the room, but she does still seem to be pretty happy because I mean, she still has tons of new leaves coming out and there are lots of roots growing up in here. So honestly, I'm just letting this plant take its time and kind of figuring it out as I go. So if you have any tips on these plants, let me know down in the comments, especially if it's with pitcher production. And I think I do want to get other varieties, but I think I just want to get more carnivorous plants in general. So maybe I'll do like a carnivorous plant haul someday or something. But I just think these plants are really cute and I love how funky they look and how they grow. But I don't really have much else to say about her. So I'm going to go hang her back up on the wall. So this next plant I talked about really briefly in my plant highlights video, but it is this tiny little baby star fruit tree that I have grown from seed. So basically like two months ago, I wanna say, I was eating a star fruit <laughs> and I decided to save some of the seeds and luckily one of them decided to sprout for me and she has slowly been growing for me and giving me these cute little leaves. But I have her in this little humidity dome so that nothing happens to her. All her leaves are like folded down right now because she be in sleep mode because it's actually pretty late at night right now while I'm recording this video. But typically during the day, she will spread out their leaves and they just look so cute. And another really cool thing about this plant is kind of similar to a mimosa plant, AKA a sensitive plant. When you disturb the leaves, they actually move on their own which is so cool and I'm really hoping I can grow this out to be a big tree someday and hopefully I can even get some fruit from it but of course I'll be sure to give you guys updates and I'll let you know if anything happens and I'm really happy she's a part of my collection all right next up we're going to be talking about my spider plant otherwise known as a chlorophytum commosum i believe but if you are a regular viewer you would already know that this plant is actually the first house plant i've ever owned so she's been in my collection since the very start but basically the story behind her is when I was in my first apartment ever, I was living with roommates and my roommate ended up bringing this spider plant home, but they didn't really take care of it. So I started taking care of it. And ever since that day, I kind of never stopped with the plants. And as you can see, it seems to be really working out for me. <laughs> she started as like a little baby in a four inch pot. And she's been attacked several times by different cats and she's still here with us. Um, so I'm really happy about that. And I repotted this plant kind of recently. And ever since I did that, she's been popping off with so much new growth. So if you have a spider plant that just always seems unhappy, I would say try repotting it because honestly, I don't think they really like to get root bound because this plant was like just the slightest bit root bound and she was barely growing for me and always getting brown tips like really bad. But now that she's in this new pot, so far I haven't gotten any brown tips, but I probably just jinxed myself, but I'm hoping that she stays happy and hopefully I can get her to flower one of these days because I've yet to experience that with this plant. So I haven't been able to get like any babies from her or anything to give away to friends and stuff like that. But I'm sure this is probably going to be a plant that will always be in my collection because who doesn't love a spider plant? They're such a classic. All right, so this next plant, I think I definitely haven't talked about in a while, and it is my String of Hearts, otherwise known as a Seropegia Woodyi. And this plant has been doing really well. She's kind of been growing a little slower than typical, but honestly, I can't really complain because honestly, this plant grows a little too fast sometimes. So I'm happy that she seems to be in no rush and I'm really liking how she's starting to fill out this pot. So I've actually had this plant ever since it was a little baby as well. And basically all I've done to size up this plant is I will let the vines grow out 
and basically once they get really long i'll just wrap it around the top of the pot and i've actually been able to get the vines to root back into the soil so there's tons of new growth coming out and i just think she looks so lovely this is definitely another houseplant classic now i'm really just trying to grow her out and have her be super long and trailing and for the most part she seems pretty happy so that's really all i can ask for <laughs> i think i definitely would get the other string of varieties like the string of spades or like the string of needles or like the variegated version of this even. I think the only other string of plant I have is a string of turtles. So I've definitely given this plant its praises before, but here we have my beautiful Anthurium forgetii who is actually flowering for us right now. So that is super cool. These two flowers are actually her first flowers ever. And she's even starting to work on a third one. So I'm hoping I can collect some pollen someday. But for the most part, she seems to be really happy. Unfortunately, I do have some crisping on some of these leaves, but her newer leaves so far don't have any of that crisping. So hopefully I didn't just jinx myself, but I'm really hoping they stay that way because they are just so beautiful. This was her newest leaf right here and it was actually smaller than her last one. So I think I might need to repot her soon. It could just be because she's flowering as well because honestly she'd be doing the most for me right now. She has so many roots growing up in here. So I think I definitely need to repot this plant as well so y'all will definitely see me doing that in a video but yeah i feel like i talked about this plant kind of recently so i don't think there's really much to update you guys on i definitely need to step my freaking anthurium game up i literally say that every time i talk about this plant but it's so true like i really love anthurium so much anyways let's finally move on to the last plant all right, so the last plant I'm pretty sure is the biggest one of all. So I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to hold it for you guys. I'm gonna try really quick. Okay, so here we have my beautiful cane begonia. And I say cane begonia because I actually don't know what specific type of cane begonia this is, but what I do know is that she is beautiful. So I actually got this plant from my partner Ezra because it used to live at his work, but they did start to give away some of their plants. So I decided to claim this one and yeah, she seems to be pretty happy. I did cut her back and plant her in this big pot. So she has tons of new growth coming in all the time and she's starting to get pretty big again. So I just put her on this trellis right here like a couple nights ago because she was just starting to flop around everywhere. But I'm super excited to watch this plant continue to grow because these can actually get pretty big. But I definitely am interested in getting some more types of begonia. I don't know when, but since this one's doing really good for me, I feel like maybe I can have some good luck with the other ones. And then I can have even more beautiful plants like these hanging around but i think that's gonna go ahead and complete this video so i hope you guys enjoyed watching if you did please make sure to leave me a like and if you're trying to guess my age like i challenged you guys in the intro and i'm gonna tell you what age i really am i be 22 so are you surprised are you not surprised let me know <laughs> but i hope you guys had a good time hanging out with me while i showed you guys all of these plants and if you didn't already know i'd be uploading plant content here every wednesday and saturday so if you'll be looking for that i got you and you should definitely think about checking out my other videos and if you already have why not click that subscribe button you're already here and if you'd like to see more of me and my plants i do also have a tiktok by the same username so if you want to check that out go ahead and do that but i hope you guys have a great rest of your week and i'll see you guys on saturday bye